Maybe it can be hard, especially when family traditions come into play. Like this couple, for example. <laughs> he wants to name his son Spiridon. 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 We don't even know how to pronounce it. Spiro. Spiro. We might go with that. Spiro the mighty. Spiro. Meanwhile, wifey is saying no. So now they are asking the internet to make the final call, oh. and it is our daily <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> Someone squeak just Sorry, then. that was me just going, internet? Yes. Yeah. How important is family tradition when choosing baby names? It's a very good morning to Alex Carlton from kidspot.com.au. Hi. Um, firstly, what does the wife want to call the child? She's going for Michael. Which what sort of crazy ass name is that? <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Nice and simple. And now they're putting it out to the internet, really? Yeah, I know. I don't know if you want to open it to strangers. I think probably it's best never to reveal your names before the child's actually born because someone's always got an opinion somewhere. Yeah. But I think given those two options, I mean, it's a Greek name and that's fine, Spiridon, but perhaps, you know, these days it's a bit of an old-fashioned name. I'd be leaning towards Wouldn't he be Michael. called Spyro? Or Spiro? Spiro. Yeah. Spiros. I love it. I, like, I want it. I'm going to have another baby so, so I can call it Spiros. <laughs> you brilliant. like it? I love it. Sounds like a volcano. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a tricky thing, so though, when it comes to, to naming kids, though, isn't it? Because, I mean, I'm half Croatian. Mm. Um, my name was supposed to be Branka. Oh. Um, or Boya. Yeah. So, um, Boya. yeah. Pretty. So, isn't that pretty? Yeah, and you could also <laughs> pronounce it like Booya. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but it is tricky. Uh, you were saying in the makeup room perhaps that um, the woman should have the final say. My feeling is <laughs> if there's a deadlock, I mean, ultimately you want to come to a consensus, yeah. but if there's a deadlock, it should go to the mum. She's the one who has to carry mm. the child for nine months. Mm. She's the one who has to push it out, mm. you know? Yeah. So I think she gets the final call. I'm with you. Sometimes you have to wait for the baby. I mean, you can have some mm. names in your mind, but the baby arrives and you look at it and you think, that's not yes. a Spiro. That, that's, what, that's what I mean. That's what, yeah. That doesn't work. Perhaps yeah. we should make that the second name and give him a different first name. That's I right. think the that's... second name is the, that is the catch all. But were you about yes. to unveil my secret shame, Jess? Because <gasps> I, the, if, you, if you're from the yeah. Daily Mail, you better be watching this. <laughs> I am actually a John. Yes, that's true. Oh, John is really Joseph. John. I'm a John Joseph because every single person in our family is called John. My grandfather, my uncle, my cousin. Right. Yeah, we, we ran out of variation. So my grandfather was John, but they called him Jack. Then we had my uncle was Big Johnny, my cousin was Little Johnny. When they got to me, <laughs> there was nothing left. Yeah. So they just moved on to the second so name. So when did, when, well, when did they Mary. start calling you Joe? <laughs> um, Straight away? Yeah, there was a, there, yeah, because right. that, because otherwise, if they said, hey, John, about five people would come <laughs> running. Yeah. <laughs> So I think it's, as Alex says, it's up to the woman. That's right, I think so. I, I done... won, I have my way. Yeah. And twice. also, <laughs> the other thing is, you know, if you've got... The surname generally goes to the to the dad. Mm. That You know, mm. generally the dad's surname that gets passed down, even these days when we don't necessarily take our mm. husband's names. So if he's already won on the surname, we yeah. get the first name, I reckon. Well, you can continue the discussion at kidspot.com.au. Alex Carlton, thanks for Thank coming you. in. Thanks, <laughs>